Yeah, buddy. Hey guys, welcome to another Train Sim Classic video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new mod, a free enhancement uh, from primarily uh, a modder named Marty and some other people. I think they're going by LPM right now, but this is the Chicago and Northwestern AC44 CW uh, Operation Lifesaver Pack. Now, the CNW had almost 40 of these things, numbering 8801 to 8835, uh, delivered in 1994, and they were, of course, later absorbed into the uh, Union Pacific. Now, the AC-44 was built by General Electric, of course, between 1993 and 2004 at almost 3,000 units. These things produce 4,400 horsepower, hence their name from the 7 FDL-16 Prime Mover, Digging into the high iron with about 180,000 pounds tractive effort starting. Now, they belonged, of course, to the Chicago and Northwestern, uh, which, of course, was headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, spread throughout the Midwest and beyond, operating from 1859 to 1995, uh, when, of course, Uncle Pete, or UP, became its successor. Now, Operation Lifesaver is a nonprofit organization dating back to the 70s with a focus on rail safety. All right, good folks, here is where you can find the mod. As always, I will link it down below. Take it straight to it. Uh, but this is it. It's going to be on Train Sim Community. It's hosted here. It tells you right at the tippy, tippy top exactly what you're going to need and the requirements. Of course, this uh, alias is sounds from the 7FDL pack and the GIVO 12 pack from the Searchlight Simulation Store, which are free, if I'm not mistaken, still. You will also need the Tehachapi Pass, Mojave to Bakersfield route, uh, available on Steam, not for free. You will need to pay for that because what it utilizes is the, well, the main AC44 that came within that because it was new, uh, basically, a few years ago. Tells you all about it. It's a very, very, very easy installation. You drag your assets into the Railworks uh, folder within your file structure. You run the uh, batch file, which installs everything for you, which I personally love this kind of stuff because it's super easy and I'm really, really lazy. Need to work on that. So fairly easy to do. This is where it's at. I'll link it down below. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Upon opening of the crack, here you have the manual. Now, you don't even have to download the pack to look at the manual. You can just download the manual and look at it right here. It tells you everything you need to know. Preface, requirements, installation, features, cab views, uh, key binds, prepping the unit. We'll go through all this in just a moment here. Uh, tell you about the local control, which I didn't really look at at all. Uh, and you've got some credits to the folks involved uh, with these very nice mods that they have given us the uh, train sim community to use and have and uh, experience. We are now in the game and we have got these two chunky donkeys sitting here waiting for us. The C in dub. We haven't had a whole hell of a lot of Chicago Northwestern stuff in Train Some Classic over the years, if I'm honest. We've gotten a few uh, very nice pieces of rolling stock, which I've got back here. Uh, just for those that may be unaware, say you're new to Train Some Classic, which is totally fine. Uh, you've got a uh, just an absolute plethora of rolling stock, which you can also get from Searchlight Simulations, which is... Uh, free rolling stock and it's amazing it's some of the best rolling stock and freight cars in train some classic for north american content hands down on the table uh so you've got a lot of stuff let's find a we, i'm sure we got a cnw uh two bay back here somewhere there we go so it fits perfect uh with this this uh pack here that we're going to look at today but this of course is the general electric ac44 cw uh, with the Operation Lifesaver uh, paint on these things. I think each and every one of the CNW's uh, AC44 was Operation Lifesaver, was it not? It was every single one that they had was uh, Operation Lifesaver, which uh, does look very, very good. The logos look nice, look very appropriate. All of this is in 4K resolution. Uh, with the paint and the decals, texturing, and all that good stuff. So it is very, very crispy bacon. Uh, and it looks good as usual. 
uh, the stuff coming out of the uh, the modding world from these uh, several people that kind of band together and make this stuff possible. This is the fourth, uh, matter of fact, AC44 uh, from Marty and the gang uh, to come out, and they are all very, very lovely. Uh, this one, of course, was kind of completely reworked, um, you know, kind of torn down and rebuilt. Uh, it's got some new AI, so you don't have to do anything. Uh, so when you've got a train set up here like I do, you don't have to do a damn thing. The AI will set up your... Let's go ahead and click on it here. The AI will go ahead and set up your uh, your front, rear, trailing units. So I've got a trailing unit there, and then I've got one at the back DPU. And it's set up automatically because it's got the, uh, the low headlight, or dim headlight, as you can see there. So it is... Perfect ease of use. I mean, it's it's not the hardest thing in the world to get in and shift to another engine and you know, I you know hit the I key, turn on the isolation and all that good stuff. But you can do it. So let's go ahead and hop in this bad boy. It does look very nice in here as well. You can still open windows, and it will change the sound occlusion within as well. We'll go ahead and just leave that open. Uh, I believe the cab, as with the other AC44 packs, has been up and, um, you know, just just brought up a little bit, you know, a lot more better than it was uh, initially when this thing came. Uh, so this was, this, this model is in Tehachapi Pass, uh, right? The, what was it, a UP uh, AC44, and it was done by Repo under contract from Dovetail Games. So Repo generally does some really nice stuff, but it seems like over the years when he's when he's been contracted to do something, he's only going to do the bare minimum. Because why wouldn't you? It's dovetail. They're not going to know, nor are they going to care. Which kind of stinks in some regards. So he kind of did the bare minimum, and it was okay in some aspects. It had a lot of glaring issues. Those have since been fixed by the modding community over and over, time and time again. Uh, but that's what this is based upon, and this does look very, very good. This being the fourth iteration. Uh, from Marty and the gang or LPM um, Which is what we're going to take a look at today New thing right off the bat is the reverser key. It is raw red red rocket lipstick Yeah, it's not yellow so to insert that once you're loaded up here You hit shift R And voila there it goes Now to get your isolation set in the run position you're simply going to hit the I key it is now set to run uh, let's see what else am I missing here let's check out the lights it of course has the very very lovely light and light color and you see how they kind of fade and pop there so it's not like BAM light you know it takes a second look at that lovely there we go got the ditchy boys as well then of course the number boards that is control in the headlights by the way are H as they generally are control in is your number board so those look very good have that kind of muted you know old just weathered plastic piece or whatever that is uh, in front of the lights there old incandescent bulbs we've got some new antenna array on the top of the cab as well and something else that was added to this so on the previous models uh, it was, it, I guess it was a bit difficult to actually remove the horn model. This time they actually did change it to the prototypical horn that would have been on the cheap and nothing wasted AC44. And this is, what is the name of it? It's one of the funky ones. K5AR24, I think. K5AR24. And there's the model right there. And it does look very nice indeed. That's a good looking Huron. Very nice looking Huron. We'll go ahead and sit here and toot that son of a gun here for a minute. So it's got that kind of restricted sound to it, if you will. Sounds pretty good though. We'll back up some here. That steel bell is loud AF. There it is there. We'll back up a little bit more, about another half a mile. It 
So yeah, sounds pretty good. I don't really, I honestly don't really know too much about the K5 AR24. <laughs> that's, that's one of those horns to me that's just like, seems really obscure, but it sounds pretty decent. It does sound pretty decent. Let's get inside and check it out. I love the way it sounds on the inside. It's got that kind of raspy, kind of crinkly paper sound, you know, because it's it's creating this reverb on the roof and all the panels inside, and you know, screws have worked their way loose over time, and you know, it's just not like a an airtight sound. It sounds, you know, like there's a slight rattle or something going on somewhere. Sounds pretty good, and you can actually hear a bit of an echo as well. Sounds pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. All right, let's close that back up, shall we? I uh, got the new cab radio as well. That is all brand spanking new, as with um, the other AC44s that were built. Uh, I don't... I don't believe there's any chatter. I think it's just the, the actual model itself. Then you got the low control box right here, which I think actually does stuff. This thing kind of terrifies me. I think there's stuff you can actually do to this. You see, I'm just, I'm clicking. You probably can't see the mouse cursor when I'm clicking buttons. It, there might be key binds. Totally forgot how that works. To be honest, let's turn that bell off. Let's go ahead and pull though a little bit. All right, let's get our independent brake up. Get here, come into high idle there. Go ahead and drop the train brake. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, so basically everything, uh, there's a lot of stuff. It explains it all in the manual itself, but it, of course, uses the very nice searchlight uh, GVO 12 and 7FDL um, sound compatib compatibility, which is very nice. It's got traction motor cutout, as did the other AC44s from LPM and the gang. Uh, the new Bell, uh, the new Hron, 4K textures, decals, light casting toggle, dynamic exhaust, fading lights, low control box. Yeah, it's another thing is the fading lights. Let me see. I'm looking at the manual over here. Pardon me. Uh, I think it's control shift L yeah there we go so if you want the lights on in the daytime you know you do you fam uh, but I think they look kind of dumb so it's it's nice to have this option at night if it is dark then you can have them on otherwise like right now it's just it looks ridiculous so I generally leave those off and it will save uh, a frame or two. Something else that is very, very important to this pack is the uh, the shish. There's a tropical fish. They live on board. Uh, they are your spirit animals. A fish, an animal. I don't. I don't think it's an animal. What is? What is a fish? Just a. What is a sea creature? Like an animal's a mammal. Massive brain fart. All right, let's go ahead and pull. Throw one notch on now. You can actually see the stuff on the low control box uh, doing its thing as well. Tractive effort is on there. 21K currently. Uh, brake pipe is doing its thing. Brake cylinder is going down as it should. You're starting to roll now. One more notch. There comes that chugga lugga 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 from the luscious 7 FDL 16. What a sound. What a sound. You know what? Let's get them windows open. Get them open. Let them know we're coming through town. There we go. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna crack the menu up on the other screen here, just so I can see what I'm missing and not missing. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. 
Da -da. So you've got reverse headlights as well if you need to run this thing backwards, long head forward. So basically the same with headlights. It's going to be H, uh, shift H to shut them off and on. And then reverse headlights is going to be control H and control shift H. We've also got step lights, which I completely glazed over. We'll look at that now. That's control shift S. Some epic camera work from yours truly. Let's go to that side. There we go, you can see him popping on down under the stars there. Right to the left of the plow. Stupid bungalow got in the way. There we go, off and on, we'll go back in. Alright, what else can we do? So you got a distant counter as well with Shift A and Control Shift D. So we'll hit Shift A, which starts it. And then if you want to stop it, you hit Control Shift D. And there it goes. Now it is stopped. I like that low control box. That's that's very cool. Uh, wipers are V and Shift V. Did not mean to hit the horn. They've got that nice kind of stick in the middle there instead of just wop, 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 like most of the uh, default vanilla dovetail kind of stuff does. Just quicker. I'm going to shift V to turn them all the way off. Come on, get on back. There we go. Let's give her a nope, nope, sir. Please stop with the wipers. Thank you. We'll give it another notch. Attractive effort creeping. What are we going to get at here? 34, I think it hit 34,000. All right, here we go. What else? What else? What else? What else do we have here? So you can obviously do this thing cold and dark too if you would like. You basically, uh, it starts running, but you could shut it down. Um, but what you would need to do is, is set your isolation switch to run, which is your I key. Insert the reverse key, which is Shift R. Uh, you know, select the desired direction, and off you go. Basically, you can do the traction motor cutout as well. Uh, let's see, what is the the key? Looking for the key. Looking for the key. So Control One. So it's basically Control One through Six. So there's obviously six traction motors, right? You can cut out each individual one. So we'll cut out number one. Going to hit Control One. There's the alerter about to go off. We'll see what that does. I can... There we go. Just making sure it happened. Control one, motor number one, cut out. Let's turn it back on, see what the load control does. There it is, goes back to six. So you can actually see on the traction, the, the top underneath unit A will actually tell you We'll turn all these some bitches off. We got two traction motors right now. <laughs> two traction motors. All right, let's go ahead and get them back on. There we go, six. And then of course you've got the uh, GE Loco Cam, which is a neat little feature. I actually like this a lot. You just hit over on your uh, your directional keys, and there it is. You're right on the nose. You've got a fireman or conductor side. You've got a middle side or a, a third seat as well. Middle side, middle obviously isn't a side, is it? Alerter going off again, doing its thing. Give it another notch. We will slap this thing on the ass and get it moving. Uh, it will trip a PCS, so the pneumatic control switch, which will uh, dump your brakes, which you'll need to reset. It explains in the manual how to do that. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? It says do not use in 32-bit. Um, pretty much any really decent stuff nowadays in Trans Classic, you're not going to be able to use 32-bit. It just simply will not work. Um, 
you know, it, it's this thing isn't difficult to use at all. You just have to read the manual with a lot of stuff. I mean, any kind of simulation, you're going to want to take a peek at the manual anyway. Uh, it also notates it's not compatible with uh, external controllers like the rail driver or the uh, Xbox One. Uh, you cannot save an instance and then uh, revert back and load in. Uh, that is not possible. Uh, what else? What else? It's fairly easy to use in the editor, so when you would open up your editor and place this thing down and make a scenario or what have you, uh, you simply uh, click the fly out to the right hand side, you go down select Dovetail Games or DTG, and then you're going to go down and tick Tehachapi, which you're going to need to use this. And then of course, uh, your fly out to the left with all the rolling stock, it will appear almost near the top. That thing sounds totally bitchin' inside. I will not lie. It sounds really, really good on the inside. It's got dynamic exhaust dependent on the RPM. Sounds like the loco just tooted. So we'll go ahead and notch down here, see what it does. And there it goes, it's just kind of a, a wispy, fart in a hurricane now you can barely see it rpm is dropping well, let's get in the back here probably probably see a little bit better yeah here we go all right straight to four And the exterior on these son of a guns look really, really good. The colors look impeccable, very crispy, almost scrumptious enough to make you want to eat it. Uh, the logo itself, the cheap and nothing wasted, looks uh, pretty darn perfect. The look, listen, and live on the bottom there per the uh, Operation Lifesaver, which is still going on to this very, very day. Uh, I believe that sticker there is new, ownership. Ownership subject to security agreement, blah, 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 surface transportation board. The numbers look nice. Uh, there's been added decals all over this thing where uh, applicable in real life. It's just a damn good looking unit, even on the top there. It's a very, very spicy meatball, this thing. And I I think I just about covered everything. One last thing you can do, let's close the windows. I feel like I'm screaming. I've got the volume up in the game. Because you can override the alerter. So if you just like kind of messing around, taking photos, you know, maybe watching a YouTube video on your second screen or what have you, you don't want to worry about the alerter. Simply hit Control Q and it will disable it as per the, uh, the thing in the top right hand corner. But that is the CN Dub AC4400 CW Operation Life Saver. Uh, this thing is very nice, as to be expected. Uh, you know, just like the other stuff that comes out from this lot. Uh, and they have also recently re released the other AC44. So there's, uh, da -da 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 -da. what was it? Uh, uh, Southern Pacific, Utah Belt. Uh, God, what's the other one? Massive Brain Fart. There's four. This is the fourth one. There's another one. Anyway, they've all been re-released. They're going to be in the same spot. Uh, so when you click the link, if you look at the link here to get this, it should have the other ones there as well, which you can pick up. But that is it for now, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Very, very nice uh, work indeed, as usual, for this thing. Nice to have something from the, uh, the Midwest. See you next time, guys.